Hello Oracle Database Geeks, this is Justin, and in this Oracle Database Video YouTube tutorial, I'm going to show you how to prevent objects from being sent to the Oracle Database Recycle Bin um, upon dropping them. Now in Oracle Database version 10G, the concept of a recycle bin, well the feature of the recycle bin rather, was introduced. Now the recycle bin allows objects that are dropped by default to really not be deleted from the database, but to be put into this recycle bin, which basically means that they're moved somewhere else, they're renamed, okay, and they're renamed by an Oracle database generated name, and the advantage to that is now the space of that object is, now that provides you with two abilities, number one, you drop the object so the object's been removed from your schema, okay, so like for instance, if you drop a table, that table's been, re been removed from your schema, so now you can create another table with the same name if you want, you don't have to worry about that. Okay, um, number two, the, the object, that table, is still technically in the database and you can recover it at any time if you need to. And the other advantage is Oracle controls that space now. So if there's ever a constraint for space and table spaces, Oracle will automatically purge that, that those drop tables from the um, recycle bin to make room. So there's a lot of advantages to using the recycle bin. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and let's set our Oracle SID to finance. Let's ensure we're set properly. Finance. And let's log in. Let's go to SQL Plus. But uh, we're going to log in as a user that I created in this database called, named after me, Justin. Justin. And I'm going to enter my password. Okay, so I'm now connected to the database. Show user Justin. Okay, now. I'm connected to the database as user Justin. Now there is a table called names. And if I do a describe names, I will see that the table names has one column named F name. And its data type is variable character 220. And if I do a select asterisk from names, like so, I will see that there are two rows in this table. The two rows are Mark and Rich. Okay? So now what I'm going to do is now by default the recycle bin option is enabled. It's turned on. Okay. Um, so automatically by default when I start dropping objects they're automatically going to be thrown into the recycle bin. So if I type in recycle bin think of it as like the Microsoft Windows recycle bin that you see on your desktop. So go ahead and type in the following. Drop table names like so. Okay. Now table dropped. Now when we do a describe names or if we do a select asterisk from names, we will see that we will get the prop, the error objects um, object names does not exist. Or on this one, we get table or view does not exist. Okay, so Oracle is telling us that object doesn't exist. Okay, but if I do a select original name from recycle bin, I will see that the names table and I had to say original underscore name there because it gives it Oracle when it puts objects in a recycle bin gives it an automatically generated name okay which are pretty cryptic but uh, select original name from recycle bin shows us that the objects names is currently in Justin's recycle bin which means Justin recycled it okay but the object doesn't exist in the schema anymore okay so so that being the case what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to create another table called addresses with one column called address give it very type data type var car 20 describe addresses to get the structure okay one column and I'm going to insert some data insert into addresses values one two three walnut av insert into addresses values four five six branch street commit select act asterisk from addresses and I will see my two values one two three value uh, one two three walnut av four five six grant street okay so now with uh, with that table addresses with two rows in it, if we were to just drop that table like we usually do with a drop table addresses command, okay, Oracle would automatically put that into the recycle bin, okay. But 
We're not going to do that. We're going to add a, a clause to the drop table command, and that clause is purge. P U R G E. Okay, P U R G E, purge. All right, what that's going to do is it's going to say drop the database object, but but override the um, or deviate, I should say, from the default behavior of dropping an object, which is throwing it in a recycle bin and just delete it from the table from the database altogether, just like you would in pretty recycle bin feature uh, database world. So drop table addresses purge. Table drop the same message that we got when we dropped it the first time. The only difference is now when we do a select original underscore name from recycle bin it's only names we don't have addresses anymore it's so it's not names and addresses it's the original one it's the original table that we dropped without the purge option names okay and the address table since we dropped that with the purge option okay it's not in the recycle bin okay so if you have a lot of tables that you want to drop and you know that you will never ever you want the space available immediately after you drop it and you know that you'll never ever need to recall them from the recycle bin or they can be easily recreated from another source then go ahead and use the uh, purge option okay so by the again by default if you drop objects in Oracle database starting in Oracle database 10g it will automatically put it into the recycle bin and but if you use the purge option with the drop command it will delete them and bypass the recycle bin. Okay, thank you.